So with the routers, we're creating links to methods and treating the links as URLs. You may be thinking that at some point, we have to create anchor tags to these links just so others can access them. But in fact, we've done this already. In this movie, we're going to review how this was accomplished and then finish building our route. But let me point out something first. So right now, we're looking at my router.js file. The route on line 7 that's attached to the no copy method is just an empty set of quotes. This is how I attach the route to my home page. So if someone lands on my index.html page, the no copy method will be invoked. For the rest of the routes on lines 8 through 10, these are the routes that I'm already linking to on my web page. They were added while doing the views work in chapter 3 when I used views to render my model data. Let's recap this by first looking at flowerapp.js. When I created three model instances, I gave each one a link property. Take note that this property matches the route name. So the link name for red rose on line 6 matches the link name for the route on line 10 in router.js. And it's the same situation for the two other model instances. Now, when the models got rendered on index.html, this link property was added to my web page content thanks to my template. So let's review that on index.html. On line 24, I appended the link property in my anchor tag's href attribute, placing it after a hashtag or pound sign. I'm going to call it a hash. This hash is needed to create routable links in Backbone, so always remember to include it. To confirm that these links were properly added to my page, I'm going to open it in Google Chrome and review my page structure in the Elements tab. So let me jump over to Google Chrome. I'm going to go to View, Developer, Developer Tools, and the Elements tab is selected for me. And when I find the Section tag, and then expand it, and then review all the article tags, and look at their links, I see that all the links are there. With a little planning, I was able to dynamically add links to the routes on my web page and avoided manually creating them by hand. Adding the routable custom methods to my router.js file. And for that, I have to go back to snippets.txt as usual. So I'm going to scroll up a little bit. And I'm going to highlight and copy lines 56 through 70. And then go back to router.js. And I'm going to place these at the bottom of my app.router object. I'll talk about that no copy method on line 13 in a moment. Let's talk about the other ones first the ones on line 17 to 27. Those are all the methods that get invoked when one of my flower images is clicked on. So clicking on the Heirloom Roses link triggers the Heirloom Rose route on line 8, which in turn triggers the Heirloom Rose message on line 17. query to find an empty div tag with an ID name of copy, which we added to our page at the start of chapter two, and then use jQueries.html method to load in some unique wording, and due to how .html works, if wording is already inside of the copy element when the route gets clicked, .html will remove the old copy first and then add the new copy. The no copy method on line 13 works a little differently. If we look at line 7, I attach this method to the home page route. I don't want any unique flower wording to appear when this route gets clicked, so I want to empty my copy div. I've passed an empty set of quotes as a parameter of nocopies.html method to make sure that this happens. Now, my routes are configured but haven't been instantiated yet. I'm going to do that with one final piece of code. And for that, I have to go to snippets.txt. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to highlight and copy lines 78 through 80. And this time, I'm going to go to flowerapp.js. I'm 
router. And though I instantiated the route, I have to tell Backbone to keep track of the historical clicks so my routes will work. I'm doing that on line 34 with the backbone.history.start method. So my route should be done. Let me look at the page on Google Chrome to confirm that everything's working. Here we are and refresh. And when I click on an image, okay, it looks like something's not working. Yes, I forgot to save my router.js file. I'm sorry about that. Refresh, let me just go to the home page first and hit enter and then click on each image. Excellent, everything is working exactly as it should. My routes are working perfectly. Now, I want you to look at the address bar. See that the hash part of my link is working and appearing. That's backbone routes in action. Now, A web search will bring up some fixes, and many of them involve using something like HTML5 push date, but you may have to make a decision on whether to use in-page links or backbone routers. Now, we didn't fully review the full functionality of routes, but a thorough understanding of them will help you add a lot of power to your web app. To learn more about the power of routes, is well worth your time.